Karis Hall McCollum, and I'm sitting here with my dad, Dudley Hall, and you're joining us for an episode of Papa, I Have a Question. This is where I get to sit with my dad and just ask him questions, questions that I'm struggling with theologically or questions that I might have about scripture, something that I don't understand from a sermon or um, a Bible study. And I realized a couple of years ago that I have had an amazing um, life. I've had amazing opportunity my whole life that I had him as a great resource, um, a theologian, a Bible teacher. And so when I was struggling with something, I had a real quick and easy resource to just say, Papa, I don't understand this. I have a question about this or um, help me uh, understand this. Um, and so as an educator, I know that if one person has a question, usually there's someone else that has that same question. So we decided to let you guys join us as we have some of these conversations and you get to listen in. Um, maybe you have the same question or you can send me a question and I'll ask, uh, I'll ask Papa your question too. So uh, join us today because Papa, I have a question. Okay. So this one's um, kind of a little bit more personal. I was just thinking about, as we've talked about the books that you've written, Tape of the Month for almost 50 years now, um, there are things that you would say, oh, I've, I've grown. I'm not sure I believe that anymore. I have a better understanding of that mm -hmm. now. Um, and so as I am parenting young boys, I was thinking about, okay, um, what are the things that you would teach differently to your grandsons, to your four grandsons, than maybe you taught to me and David? What are the things that you would prioritize now um, or maybe not prioritize that you, uh, yeah, how would you do it differently? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, because I, I, I thought about that a lot. You know, I've heard <clears throat> grandparents, you know, talk about, well, I don't have to raise these kids. I can spoil them. And, <laughs> <laughs> well, you do that. <laughs> <laughs> so... But yeah, it, it, there is a di different dynamic. I, I do want to back up a little bit though. I was thinking about your introduction. Uh, you would ask me questions and I don't know if you remember, but there, there were some times where I would, you know, pretend that I uh, knew maybe, but I would say, <laughs> I would say, let, let me get back to you on that. Let me think about it or pray about it or, you know, whatever. Yeah. Uh, and I just want to give credit to those uh, pe people that I walked with that I could go to them and ask them. Mm -hmm. I could go to my brother who's older. Mm -hmm. I could go to my some of my peers in ministry uh, that had already been down the road. Yeah. And so uh, a lot of the stuff was not original <laughs> with me. <laughs> uh, so uh, anyway, uh, for all of you, d don't don't discount the community you live in. Mm -hmm and the people that you have around you, and it's okay not to know the answer. Just don't, don't stay there. Try yeah. to find it, try to find it. Ask. Yeah, ask. Ask, yeah. So anyway. Okay, so different in uh, grandkids and kids. You know, one of the things we instituted, and if you remember the, you and David, that I, I would say uh, if I, give you an instruction, or if mama, I would give you instruction. Uh, instead of arguing back, we kind of instituted a, a deal where you could say, can we discuss it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so, uh, and some Papa, can we respectfully discuss it, I believe <laughs> is what we were supposed to say. Yeah. <laughs> And so, and sometimes uh, we we would. Mm -hmm. I think most of the times we would. Yeah. I, uh, and then sometimes it's like, no, that's that, that's a decision. Now, part of that was uh, I I didn't want to train y'all to only be obedient when you understand something. Mm -hmm. I wanted you to be obedient because you have submitted to a loving authority. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times in life, you're going to get instructions and you're not going to understand. Right. And sometimes there's a safety element in that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If you're standing in the middle of the road and exactly. you, don't, you don't see a car coming and I do, and I go, move, I don't need you to go, why? <laughs> right. I, I need you to move. Right. So, yeah, th there's that. I think, I think probably 
the way I would uh, adjust that now, I, I would say, I would try to help. Uh, I would try to help you understand that decisions, good decisions, are goal oriented. That is, I'm making a decision because it will lead to the right goal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes there's no way to explain to you what that goal is. Okay. Okay, so little kid, eat your spinach. <laughs> Why? Because I said so. Uh. Well, it looks arbitrary. Right. You know, right. it's like, well, I just do it because you're bigger and you can mm -hmm. beat me if I don't. You'll punish me if you don't. Yeah, if I don't. right. Yeah. So I, yeah. I, I use my uh, superior uh, size and whatever, but... To be able to, at whatever level you can, to take the time to say, I know you don't understand it. You don't understand nutrition, whatever. One day you will. But right now, I'm making this decision for your good mm -hmm. because you need that rather than these French fries mm -hmm. because of what's going on in your body. So I, th I think as early as possible, I would kind of back off on the, just do it because I said so, because I want you to learn that you don't have to, understand everything and, and try to focus on, I want you to see that every decision I make has a goal in mind. Mm. Sometimes I can explain them to you. Sometimes I can't, but they do have a goal, mm -hmm. which presupposes then that I would really focus on the fact that you would trust me because I love you. Mm. You know, it's, it's like that passage in Romans eight, where it says, uh, if God loved us enough to give us his only son, will he not freely give us everything? I want to reflect that as a father or grandfather. It's like, I want you to see that I love you and I'm willing to sacrifice for you so that when I ask you to do something that may be difficult or you don't understand, you trust my love mm. Mm -hmm. rather than just submit to my power. Mm -hmm. or my authority. authority. Mm -hmm. And so I think I would, I would focus more on that. That's one thing. Okay. I think that's interesting. I want you to know, I think you did a great job of that. Oh, well, thanks. Yeah. So interesting. Well, why didn't you turn out better? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Good. Anything else that pops up? Well, I, I just think, uh, like with the grandkids, yeah, you know, it is good to know that, you know, you and Brian are, you have the best interest in heart, you're raising them right, you know more about raising kids than I do, and, and, and I don't, I don't have to do that, yeah. and so I can, I can supplement and augment, and mm -hmm. I don't have to be the primary one, and, and I think that's a difference in a, yeah. a grandfather position and a parent position. But uh, what I want to do is reinforce the things that I think every child needs, and that is I want to reinforce that choices have consequences. Mm -hmm. uh, your choices have consequences, and other people's choices have consequences, and sometimes you are experiencing the consequences of somebody else's choice, and it's painful, and it's unjust, but you, but you still are experiencing it, and you've yeah. got to know how to deal with it. Yeah. So That's you've got good. to know how to deal with injustice, with forgiveness, uh, but you also need to know that your choices have consequences yeah. and your choices have consequences greater than you, than just your life. It infects your parents. It affects your siblings. It affects the world. The world, yeah. It affects everything. And so, you know, I'm, I'm cog cognizant of whatever I do with the boys is to not, not neglect that their choices have consequences. That's good. Uh, I don't want to, to protect them from their consequences in a way that would cause them to doubt that. Yeah. On the other hand, I want to ameliorate, I want to make it as light as possible. Mm -hmm. I want their consequences to, to make the point, but not be too painful. I think that's so good. I think, you know, trusting our love for you obviously relates to trusting our love that God loves us and that he wants the best for us. 
but yet we can get so skewed in our definition of love, right? Love means you give me all the candy. Yeah. Love means I get to do whatever I want. And then, but then balancing that with, but your choices have consequences. So that's yeah. why we don't get to eat all the candy. It right. has nothing to do with you don't love me enough. Right. And I think I, we can skew that even on our perception of God. So it's interesting that you picked those two things because I think they balance each other so well in our understanding of a parent, a grandparent, and a, a loving God. Yeah. Yeah. So two or three things that I, I, I kind of keep in my mind as a grandparent and hopefully as a parent. One is choices have consequences. And, and I, I want them to see that Adam's sin had consequences mm -hmm. that we're experiencing. And Jesus' choice had mm -hmm. consequences that we're experiencing. Yeah. So uh, I, I do want them to see that choice of consequence. I also want them to see what we talked about earlier, and that is uh, all good decisions are goal oriented Taking decisions. It somewhere. Instead of just living by rules, mm -hmm. we live by making decisions. Is that helping me get to the goal? Mm -hmm. So that means you've got to clarify your goals, and they have to continually be clarified. And it means that you're making decisions on is this helping me get to the goal? And that if, if you get that started early, it's real easy when it's like, okay, is taking drugs going to help me reach my goal? Mm -hmm. You know, is uh, having sex outside of marriage, is that going to help me reach my mm -hmm. goal? You know, is uh, spending all my money on mm -hmm. candy and stuff, is that going to help? So if you develop that early, it can be further developed and applied later on in your life. Yeah. And... Uh, the other one that I would make kind of prior primary is since God is actually the he, he's running the show, if you will, he he has he has stated that if you're faithful in a little, mm -hmm. he'll give you more. Mm -hmm. And so what I, I want, want the boys to get is it's not just my boss that determines if I get rewarded or my mm -hmm. teacher that determines if I get rewarded because I may do things nobody ever sees and, and I may not get that reward. But God has said, if you are faithful in what I give you, I, God, will give you more. Mm -hmm. I'll give you more opportunity. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, so that maturity comes through faithfulness of handling what you have. Mm -hmm. Do what's in front of you. Yep. And if you'll do what's in front of you, you'll have more in front of you mm -hmm. at some point. Mm -hmm. That's good. And and not to get it all on the job or the vocation or the teacher yeah. or my mama or whatever. So, uh, you know, those are things that just kind of rumble, rumble around in my head. And, you know, as we tell stories and play games and go hunting and fishing and whatever, I'm, I'm wanting to point those out to them. Yeah. You know, but I don't, Thank God I don't have to set up curriculum like you do. Yeah, but thanks, because that helps us prioritize, okay, why wait until I'm I'm the grandparent to have the perspective of these are the important things. Yeah. It helps when I'm in the mundaneness of it, it helps me think, am I prioritizing? You know, am yeah. I thinking through this? Am I pointing out the goal? Am I so so thanks. I I it was encouraging to me. I hope it was encouraging to you as well. Thank you for joining us and join us for another episode of Papa, I Have a Question.